uh, hi. So I know it's been a really long time and I'm really sorry. I know a lot of people that I know that watch my videos keep asking me why I haven't you posted, like what's going on. And the problem is, is that I have this thing called anxiety and depression. And I've talked about this before, but I think I need to explain um, a few things. So I've tried to make this video uh, for several months. <laughs> Um, but the problem is, is that every time I sit down and I record, I get scared and I get huffy and puffy, which means <laughs> that, <laughs> so I get scared, I get huffy and puffy, um, and then I can't think, I don't know what to say, I actually recorded this like 5,000 times, just me saying hi, because I just have this problem where I get scared. And I know at first, um, when I made this channel, I kept posting a lot of videos, and that's how... I work. If I don't continue to do the same thing continuously, I get scared. I stop. It's like, for me, I have to keep going. I have to keep working. So if I'm working and someone says, hey, just take a break, be a little lazy for a while. If I take a break and be lazy, I'm going to want to continue to be lazy. And that's the problem. I don't know how to control when to take time and when not to. So I'm very sorry for being away for a very long time and I do have ideas. I have come up with ideas. It's just the problem is I don't know if they're good and I don't know if you're going to enjoy them. And that's the problem is that I want to make something that you are going to enjoy. And because of my anxiety depression, and I know I can't blame everything on it. I know it's partially my fault for believing what it says. It believing like, oh, they're not going to like it or whatever. But it's because I have self doubt <laughs> and it's really hard. But I know I can't blame everything on it, and I'm going to try. I've been getting a lot of help lately, and I'm going to try to do better and make more videos. I really, 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 really love making videos. Trust me, even if it's like the simple sing like singing a song, I really love it. Like It's something that I really like to do, and I want to get better, and I want to move forward, and I want to do bigger things. But I know to do that, I have to overcome this fear. Now, I know it's a new year, and this isn't a new year's resolution. I don't really make those because I don't really believe in them. But... I figured today I talk about what happened in 2018, and then in 2000 at the end of 2019 I would talk about what I said today, and then hopefully things have changed. Hopefully I'm posting more videos. I don't have a schedule <laughs> for the people who are asking. I don't have a schedule because of my anxiety and because of like the things in here. Because sometimes I just don't want to do anything. Like I just want to lay in bed. I've had the tendency this whole week from like last Thursday to today. Or actually since yesterday because today I was like I gotta get my things. I gotta get myself together. But I've had this tendency to just stay in my bed till like 12. Don't wake up till like 1. Don't eat till like 3. <laughs> and just stay in my room and don't talk to anyone. And hopefully that gets better. So I think I'd like to talk about what happened in 2018. And hopefully it'll get better. In 2019 at the beginning of the year I had a lot of friends because it was still it was still my freshman year of high school um, I had a lot of friends that were helping me with my uh, mental issues they were making me feel much better you know things were happening but they were always there and I always felt better and then summer came around so I fell into a really dark place I could only see my friends a few times um, I really enclosed myself. I stopped talking to people. The people that I did talk to, I didn't feel comfortable with. I just talked to them because I felt lonely. And, uh, you know, like, other people were from different schools, so I couldn't really hang out with them that much. So I felt really lonely, and that's where things got really bad. But lately, I've gotten help from uh, my counselors, my therapist. Uh, my friends have helped a lot lately since it's break right now. I get to see a lot of my senior friends because they've come down and it's really fun to like hang out with them. So then that was during the summer and the beginning of my sophomore year because I'm a sophomore now. Hey, what's up? I'm about to be a junior. That's scary. <laughs> uh, I started making friends during uh, the beginning of the year once I realized I can't be enclosing myself that I had to keep moving on and I knew it was just going to happen so I avoid it. So the more that I got better talking to people and being more comfortable, the more I was feeling worse. I wasn't making close friends that I could talk to people, I was just making people that I could talk to, to distract myself, to keep me from thinking things. But once I was by myself, those things, those bad things that I was thinking just kept going and going and going and it was really bad. So then I fell into this hole where I didn't want to be alone. 
and it's happened before but I got over it and it happened again this year and for some reason I couldn't get over it it was just getting worse and I kept telling myself it's gonna get better it's gonna get better but it wasn't and my friends were trying to convince me to go get help but I didn't want to and because of that um, I gained a lot of weight uh, I started being more lazy I stopped working out the more that I didn't try to help myself the more that I was like oh I don't want to do this I don't want to do that uh, I stopped playing instruments for a while I just didn't want to mess with it you know I played while in band but but you know at home I was just like doing nothing I gained a lot of weight I started eating <laughs> a lot which isn't really like me because um, usually I know when to stop myself but it was like I just kept like I was just hungry and hungry and hungry and hungry and it wasn't because I was hungry it was because I needed something to keep me distracted and keep me busy and the things that I used to do to help me weren't help anymore so 2018 I gained six pounds which doesn't seem like a lot but for me it is halfway through the year I gained three pounds so I went from 123 to 126 and I thought nothing of it it was still like in my weight range um i think the average weight for like my age is from like 110 to like 125 somewhere around there so i um I, did, I didn't think too much of it but then at the end of the year uh, recently when i went to go weigh myself i am 129.68 <laughs> and i know it seems weird to like say the exact measure or whatever but like i said it really bothers me and i will talk about that in another video but in my head when I gained that weight, I wasn't realizing that people were still complimenting me because I was so busy by it. And I thought, oh, that's why people aren't complimenting me anymore. That's why people, that like, I'm getting ugly. No one's paying attention to me anymore. Like, like it, I just wasn't in a good state of mind. It wasn't until recently that I realized that, like, I still look nice. Yes, I've gained weight, but I can lose it. And it just depends on if I want to. Or if I'm still going to let myself go. You know, I think I have gotten better than I was at the beginning or in the middle of 2018. I think I still have work to do. And I know that I, if I really want this YouTube channel to keep going and if I want to grow this community and if I want you guys to like my videos, I have to make videos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm hoping that I lose a few pounds because, um, you know, I just want to feel healthy again and I want to start working out again because it's something that I really enjoy. I want to get better at this, at making videos. I have a lot of ideas. I just need to get over the fact that it doesn't matter if I think they're stupid, if I really want to make them and if I think it's a good product. If I think that I'm able to do it, then I should. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, sorry if you hear weird noises. I'm fidgeting around because that helps me feel better. But um, I want to write more stories. I want to try to make short videos on here. But I do have ideas and I do want to make them come to life. And I do want to start practicing in that because I really want to become a filmmaker. And yeah. So I guess that's the end of this video. I'm really sorry if it was like nerve wracking or nothing makes sense. I hope it does because then I'm going to have to re-record instead of editing all this. But um, I hope you all have a great, I hope you all had a great year. I know it was like a roller coaster for a lot of people. Um, and I guess we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.